Welcome again to Bake Your Way Kitchen. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a, a breakfast or a brunch uh, fruit clafouti. And this is um, a great recipe. Um, it's really good, very easy to make, um, and it just requires a few ingredients. Um, the first thing we're going to do, I've got a regular standard size pie plate here. I first preheated my oven to about 400 degrees, 200 Celsius. I got a mix of fruit here. This is where you can be creative. I'm using one large banana, a handful of cherries, and one apple. Uh, however, you can mix this up as you want. And as an extra step, if you really um, want the, uh, kind of more of a richness with your fruit, you can, um, you can uh, using a skillet, pour your fruit over melted butter on the stove and let like the banana or whatever your fruit is maybe develop a little bit of um, color um, before putting it in the pan. But this is actually the first thing we're going to do. We're going to mix up our fruit. So I'm going to just slightly mix everything up so that we don't have clumps of something somewhere and clumps of other stuff another place. So this is primarily the main items that will be at the bottom. You can add more fruit. It's up to you. Um, and regarding the cherries, as you know, if you're doing, most people, when they think of clafouti, they think of a cherry clafouti. And I've got a few cherries in here as an example. I would really recommend this little device, if you're going to be doing a lot of recipes with cherries, it, it um, takes the, the pit out of cherries, and you literally just put the cherry in and pop, it comes out, and then you're good to go. And so that's just a great way, just in the future, to remember. Um, so that's that, and we're just going to put that aside. But before we do, I've got a couple teaspoons of lemon juice. This will um, prevent the fruit from really going brown before we put it in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, and we're going to go back to the rest of the recipe. So what I've got here in this bowl, what, I, what I've got here, I've got my dry ingredients here. I've got half a cup of flour, which is 65 grams, and a quarter cup of granulated sugar, which is 50 grams. And I'm going to give this a quick mix. doesn't need to be too critical. Oh, I also add, added a pinch of salt. So these are your dry ingredients, pretty much. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to add in the little bit of, I'm right at the bottom of my vanilla. So I'm using a spatula to get every last bit of it. So I got a little bit of vanilla and I've got four eggs, which I am going to beat in to this mixture, into the dry, and dry ingredients and the sugar. It's a little bit different, beating the flour in with the, the dry ingredients in with the eggs first. And once you've done that, we are going to start, we're going to add in about a tablespoon of melted butter. There we go. And give that a quick mix. The butter part is optional. I just find it really adds to the richness. So now we've got our base here, and what I'm going to do is add two cups of milk. And you can use and stir while you're doing it, just so that we really get everything all fully mixed through. Um, you can use um, whatever milk you have. You can use skim. You could use ha You could even use cream if you wanted to. It really depends on how rich you want the dessert. Anyway, so you want to give this just a quick mix until it's a little bit frothy. Um, it's very liquidy, obviously. There's a lot of milk in this. So if you, this is a great recipe. If you have milk to use up in the house, if it's nearing its best before date, this is a go-to recipe. And as you can see, it's quick. So that's it. We've pretty much done it. So now what we do is just simply pour it over the top. And let me tell you, this recipe is incredible. It should just fit. And it does. Fantastic. So now what's going to happen, this needs to go into your preheated oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. And what you're looking for is for it to obviously have set completely. If you insert a toothpick, it will come out clean. And you should be looking for um, a little bit of color to develop on the outside. Just a little bit of brown color. 
if you develop, if you notice it early, to really going brown, maybe turn down your oven. I've got a fan oven, so usually when I'm doing a recipe that's like 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I usually notch it down to 370, 360 Fahrenheit. Um, anyway, so this is going to go into our oven. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's done. Unfortunately, again, I won't be able to take a taste for you because I will be taking this. I'm actually going to be giving this to someone. Um, however, I just do because I have made this before. Um, this is very good. In fact, uh, I really like it, especially with the bananas. I've done it exclusively like uh, just a cherry clafu tea, uh, but my favorite is just banana clafu tea. But I've, I had some other fruit to use up. This is excellent to use up any fruit. It's so quick and easy. This goes into an oven. It, it serves quite a few, it serves like at least six. And it's, um, if, if you have a bite of it, it's it's not overwhelmingly sweet. In fact, a lot of people serve it with creme fraiche or whipped cream. Um, or even, I know some people do it with maple syrup, but you know what, it's so good just on its own. It just feels just right. It, it's kind of like a pancake, but um, I don't know. I just definitely prefer it over a pancake. It's just a great recipe. Um, and uh, I will take some pictures and I'll try to get a picture of a slice um, I'll try to get a slice, so hopefully um, I'll be able to before it's gone. Anyway, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'll